The courageous way is to admit to yourself, I'm afraid. I'm scared of not being good enough. I'm scared of, of not knowing what to say. What does courage actually mean? Is courage the warrior that is riding into a battle? Or is courage the child that has broken a plate and has to share with his mother that that just happened? Courage has so many different layers. And in the end, energetically, they are all the same. It is the willingness to die, either in order to do the right thing or in order to grow. The courage to be vulnerable is something that is missing in many people who consider themselves courageous. Because often we are willing to fight. We were willing to show our muscles because we know that in the outside world, not much can happen to us. Yet, looking inside, looking at our pains, our fears, our sorrows, our sadness, looking where we were hurt as a child or hurt as an adult, that takes courage. That takes great courage because our emotions are often way harder to deal with than any fight, any argument, any conflict. So what I, would I invite you to do? Whenever you set out to do something, allow yourself to be vulnerable with yourself. When you're going into a meeting and the meeting overwhelms you because you have never been in a meeting like that, you have never been, you have never talked to those people, you feel like you might be out of your depth, you're scared. There's one kind of courage and that is the courage of, yes, I can do this, yes, I can do this and just go in there and ignore your fear. But I don't consider that the courageous way. The courageous way is to admit to yourself, I'm afraid. I'm scared of not being good enough. I'm scared of, of not knowing what to say. I'm scared that I don't know everything that I have to know in order to do this. To face that inside of you and be with that and then have the courage to tell yourself, and that is okay. I can be afraid and that is okay. I've never done this before. And when I'm stuck, when I don't know the answer, I can still be vulnerable and say, yes, that is a wonderful question. I don't know the answer yet. Please let me come back to you. And in our mind, we have to be perfect. But most people appreciate real human beings who are willing to be vulnerable, who are knowing that they are not perfect and who are willing to look at whatever is missing. Those kinds of beings are much more welcomed because they are approachable, they are touchable. We can relate to them. Courage is not ignoring our fear, but courage is being willing to look at our fear, be with our fear, embrace our fear, and do it anyways.